So next up, we have Maeve Henry. A little sense of deja vu there. <laughs> saying to you, as you might imagine, that all of these entrants uh, were, were anonymous. I have no idea, absolutely no idea, uh, who lay behind the bombs, which names were attached to them. And I did not, as I, and you're going to ask yourself, well, how did he manage to miss that? I did not know that uh, they had won both an honourable mention and second prize. I had no idea. Because I think they, they came in two separate lots. So anyway, I'm delighted to be able to welcome you up here for uh, your birch bark letter number 292. Okay. Um, I'll just give a little bit of context to this, this poem. It's, um, there's an archaeological dig um, in Novgorod, which is called, extraordinarily, it's called the Deep Cultural Lair. Um, and um, the main excavations were done after the Second World War, really at the height of the, the Stalinist terror. Um, and that was such a kind of resonant, the idea of the deep cultural layer and the, the, the resonance of um, that situation of the archaeologists um, uncovering the, digging down to the layers of Russian history while you know, all the horrors of, of, of the, the Stalinist regime were, were taking place around them is what, is what really, you know, is, the, is, is the, the subject of this poem. <laughs> okay. The deep cultural lair holds entire neighbourhoods of wooden houses linked by walkways. It has swallowed markets, citadels, several cathedrals, over time, we have recovered comb cases, leather knife shields, and a thousand birch bark letters, brittle and black as rain-soaked leaves. One I flipped over in the wet trench, breaking off a corner. Yevgeny was my witness. I lost a husband, he a son, at the other Novgorod, now named for Gorky, in Perm 36. Letters came back unopened, marked with the official stamp. We look at this letter, imagine it in some future museum, safe beneath glass. I write, but you do not reply. The forest is silent and I miss the smell of your skin. When I come to Novgorod with the furs and honey, I will spend everything on combs, for your yellow hair. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, the sweep of that, the scope of it, the big picture, the big close up. Brilliant. Congratulations.